Let me now to discuss from the Conservative Review, Tom Borelli, the Executive Director for Heritage Action, Tim Chapman, and Democratic strategist Kristen Hahn. Let me start with you, Tom. You know, uh, again, it, it's, it's, it's sort of worrisome in a sense that it's fine that the Republicans uh, want to stand up and protect uh, their turf, uh, although many said they gave, gave it up completely under the previous president. What do you think happens from here? Is this the beginning of something that could harm the president's agenda? No, it's, Charles, it's not going to harm the president's agenda. What the, some of these Republicans did, it's really an exercise in futility because President Trump's going to veto it anyway. The big issue here mm -hmm. is some, all the Democrats and some Republicans are now on the wrong side of safety and security, which is a core human value. How many news stories have we seen where someone's been killed by an illegal alien? 64,000 or 66,000 aliens were just arrested coming into the U.S. in February. 70,000 in 2017 Americans died of drug overdose. This really is a national emergency, and being on the wrong side of that issue is not only bad politics, it's bad morally. You know, Kristen, uh, of course, Democrats have sort of threaded the needle here, acknowledging that there's a problem. Maybe it doesn't elevate in their minds to the national crisis. Nevertheless, more recent data has been astronomical and born a 300 percent rise in families, a, f a 50, 60 percent rise in children. You talk about the dangers of this trek to get to this country. Uh, it, 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 where do the Democrats go from here and, and, and uh, on this issue and other issues revolving around immigration? So I think that it's not about we all can agree that we need to do something about illegal immigration. It's 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 just this wall is not the right way to go. And I think, you know, uh, my counterpart says that these um, these senators that voted essentially against the president today um, are voting against safety, but they're also voting with the Constitution. Um, you know, look at what Senator Portman said. You know, he couldn't hold Obama's feet to the fire and not hold Trump to the same standards. So it's not about you know, the fact that Democrats don't want to do anything about border security. It's just how we go about it and having the right plan in place. Uh, Tim, uh, I, I guess at some point the Supreme Court will, will be able to let us know if this is constitutional or not. Uh, but are you concerned that now you have two things, uh, the situation in Yemen, uh, which uh, you have a lot of Republican senators who rebuke President Trump on that, and then this issue, what it means for parts of his agenda, including perhaps the next spending bill? Uh, well, no, I mean, I, I agree that his agenda is going to still go forward. I think what you saw today was the president and the administration doing what they were elected to do. And then I think they were do using every single tool at their disposal. I mean, the law was clear. He did have the authority to do this. Now, we can back up and question whether or not Congress should have given him the authority to do this uh, when they passed the National Emergencies Act. And that's a very legitimate question. But I think what I'd like to see is I'd like to see um, some Democrats who say they're concerned about this pick up the phone and call Senator Mike Lee, who has a fantastic bill that really is taking seriously this issue of whether Congress should reassert itself. And let's talk about it outside the context of this uh, really hot button political issue, because that's a real a real concern for the future of, of the country. We need to balance the powers. But I don't begrudge the president for doing this. And I think his agenda is still going to be largely intact. Tom, that bill, the 